Red Hat has announced a new way to get RHEL at no cost, and this time it's for business developers. It's a self-service subscription that lets each developer spin up to 25 RHEL instances, which can be physical, virtual machines, or in the cloud. Though there is a slight limitation for being strictly for development and testing inside of corporate organizations. It's not for production. This puts the exact same enterprise-grade security-hardened OS that runs in their production in the hands of every developer in an organization. This will cut down on the friction between development and operations and helping tame uh, hybrid cloud complexity and even supply chain security worries because you can do all the development in one of these kind of instances and then just basically flip a switch into turning into production. So what's included in this new subscription service? Well, you get 25 RHEL instances, signed RHEL repos with current languages, tools, and databases, a Podman desktop container toolkit and ability to build bootable container images, access to Red Hat's insights, which for those who don't know, Red Hat Insights gives you analytics of your instances and even if it sees issues, it will recommend solutions to you as well, which is really cool. But the, like I said earlier, there's no production workloads in this. So if you wanted to have some production workloads, you can use the individual developer subscription, which gives you up to 16 instances. So this is self-supported, but there's also an optional paid developer support add-on for uh, Red Hat Enterprise expertise if you wanted it. So there's that option too. And yeah, for those who didn't know, you can use RHEL at no cost right now. And this has been available for many years. Since 2021, each individual developer account can have up to 16 instances of RHEL, including in production. I've tested it myself and it has been solid. I have ran RHEL in many ways, whether I was like a workstation or even in a server, you can do it. And if you use the individual developer account, you can do it for free. So uh, yeah, if, if, you, if you need 16 or less instances, you're pretty much good to go with using Rail. So if there is a company out there that needs uh, pr prototyping uh, quickly without a central IT gate and wants to remain an on, on production certi certified stack, then this is a good way to do it with the business developer. So this new, pro this new program is pretty much gonna be what you're wanting. But on the other hand, if you're an individual interested in trying out Rail, then you can do that too with the uh, individual developer accounts. I recently had a chat with someone in the YouTube comments who was looking for a recommendation of what to use as they were wanting to learn administration of rail and they heard about, you know, rail versus the clone and all that sort of stuff. So I just told them about the free 16 instances and because, you know, the answer at these, this point is just use rail. If you want to learn how to use rail, you can do that for free and even in production for a very long time, getting access to rail was not available to most people, but now anyone could do it. So there it is. If you want to, now you know.